Okay guys, jumping right into it. I picked up the palette also from Dollar General and as you can see the shades and you all know that I was going to go straight to that brown shade. So, it is so pigmented. That is the prettiest brown. I think I've had this palette before. And where it is, I have no idea. So I picked it up again when I picked up the foundation. And that brown, as you can see, is so beautiful. And the palette was $5 also. So I'm just putting that in my crease and my outer V. I just love the way it shows up. So then they had these little uh, eyeshadow quads, or not quad, I keep saying quad, these little single eyeshadows. And I, I would say that it's like, a, I don't know what, pressed pigment or something because it's like really, really soft. But it's pigmented, so I just use like a random brush from Amazon, and I'm just packing that on my lid. So basically, I just use two shades, the brown for the crease and my trend and, and my transition color, and then I use that kind of bronzy color on my lid. I was so shocked by this Dollar General makeup. I really was. So yeah, I'm just packing that on my lid. And I'll just take my brush and make sure I smooth out the transitions and make sure I don't have any harsh lines or anything. So I've already primed my face, you all know, with my uh, NYX Angel Veil. And so this is the shade Chestnut, right? And as you can see, I just said I was going to go with the flow because it was looking rather red. So I'm blending it out and it's going on smooth. Um, it's kind of like, it's not greasy, it's not oily, but I was scared of this color. I really, really was. I said, nope, I'm going to keep on going because I need to see what the end's going to be. <laughs> So yeah, y'all see the fella. We're not gonna say nothing. And it's just a BH um, Cosmetics um, brush that I'm using to blend it out. And I take my sponge and I'm just patting it out just to make sure I don't have any streaks or harsh lines or any of that. My concealers, favorite concealers, both by e.l.f., both chest, deep chestnut, one is hydrating and one is matte. So I use both of those to highlight my face. I like the combination because if you just use that match by e.l.f., like it's a really matte and it can dry out and nobody wants under eyes to be dry, so. And my Morphe Contour Stick and Effects number 18 and I'll just blend it out with my favorite brush from TJ Maxx or Marshalls one of those that's one store I haven't been to in a while TJ Maxx or Marshalls and this is an elf concealer brush I think I got it free when I ordered some elf products but I decided to use it today, so I'm just using it to kind of like blend out the edges first of my concealers. I found that this that gives me somewhat of a seamless finish when I blend out the edges first. And this is the e.l.f. sponge that came with that concealer brush. So I'm just using that to make sure my concealer is all smoothed out in all areas. I'm taking my Sasha Buttercup. I've been loving this Sasha Buttercup ever since I got it. I don't think I've put it down yet. So I'll just use that to set my concealer.
and I I took my matte mineralized um, skin finish and dark deep at first but I just felt like it wasn't giving me enough coverage so then I went to my um, Sephora micro smooth in deep 60 dark 60 and I used that I haven't used that Mac in so long I just felt like I don't know like it gave me no coverage And then I took my Sephora bronzer and used that to uh, give some life back to my face. And of course, I'm going to spray with my, Mor oh, my Morphe, my Ulta spray. Okay, guys, so this is the final look using the Believe Beauty from Dollar General brand. I'm going to wear these wear this i'm going to wear this for a couple of hours today to see just how it wears the eyeshadow i believe is beautiful it's very pigmented um especially this brown you all know that i love a brown so i just feel like it showed up really really well and that was five dollars and then this little quad was 425 not quad this little single eyeshadow thing was 425 and then the foundation is five dollars also so i'm going to wear this for a couple of hours today and i will come back and let you all know how it wears and what i think about the shade and all that good jazz so see you later bye okay guys so i am back and i forgot to tell you all the time this morning so let's just say i had this foundation on since about 7 15 this morning it's now 5 51 So, yeah, when I say I am so shocked with this foundation, it lays on your skin beautifully. And all day I kept looking to see if I was going to be really oily, if I was going to have a lot of shine and all of that, and I never did. And when I say... It has your face almost like a filter. This is a $5 foundation. And like last year when it was real popular and everybody was talking about it, I was like, oh, no, I'm not going to get it because it's not going to do nothing. It's $5. I went looking for it today because I feel like this shade works. It works. As you can see, after I highlight and contour and all that good stuff, it works. But I just want the shade right before this, which is hazelnut, because this is chestnut. So hazelnut is right before this. And I went to two Dollar Generals in my area, and they didn't have it at all. So I'm, I'm going to try it again. But this foundation <laughs> is worth it. Let me see. I don't have no brush or nothing. Where's my powder brush? Okay. So let's just, I don't have no powder on it. Whatever was on here from this morning is what's on here. And I have been to the gym. I've been running around. I had on a mask. Hence, I was at the gym. I've been running around with the mask on. And it was like 75 degrees today. So, yeah. Do y'all see how this foundation looks on my skin? I swear every day, every week, I get a new everyday foundation. <laughs> I swear every week I do. I'm not mad at it at all. So if you enjoyed this wear test, I know I am late to this foundation. It's been out forever. But if you enjoyed this review, Please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And of course, I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.